Greetings commanders and welcome back to another Warpath video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Alliance Store and specifically talking about contribution coins. Now these coins might not seem to give you a very high value, but trust me, after this video, you would definitely change your mind about acquiring these coins because the amount of value that you can get for them, especially in the early into mid game, is absolutely massive. And we're going to be talking about that in this video and telling you exactly how you can all the ways that you can actually acquire them. In addition to what are the best itemizations that you can actually get from this store in order to get the highest value for your contribution coins as well. So let's start off with uh, basically what are these coins and where, where you can actually access this store. If you go to your alliance and then you go over here to store, you'll be able to access this store. Now this store has multiple um, uh, rewards that you can see over here, specifically talking about a lot of uh, gold crates in addition to some migration commands, silver material crates, um, entry permits, uh, airlift commands, and others such as war machine statues, and of course, the most important one is VIP points. Now over here, you can see that some of these have offers and others do not. Like for example, these silver crates over here are extremely expensive, while others have really good offers over here and are really actually cheap. So when it comes to contribution coins, uh, basically you can actually spend them in order to get these rewards. But these rewards, I kind of, some of them are actually limited. And you can see the stock that are uh, over here. Now, this specific shop refreshes every Monday at reset. And you can actually get those items again every single week. So you don't have to actually worry about this. Uh, you're running out of uh, items because it's basically just refreshes every week. And you can see the refresh timer just over here. Basically, there are multiple ways that you can actually collect uh, contribution coins. And all of them are actually within your alliance. The first one is throughout a very simple, which is basically Alliance Tech. When you actually contribute to your Alliance Tech, then definitely you're going to be able to get some coins back depending on how much you can actually contribute to your Alliance Tech. In addition to that, you also have the assists. The more assists that you actually send to your Alliance, the more contribution coins that you will be actually able to obtain as well. There's also a third way you can actually obtain that, which is actually collecting resources within your Alliance territory. You have to make sure that these resources nodes are actually within your Alliance territory. And if you want to check, double check if that node is within it, you can see that the Alliance over here. And if it's your Alliance that is in this section, that means it's within your Alliance territory for sure. So basically you get a contribution points as well when you do that too. There's also a fourth point or a fourth way that you can actually obtain that is through contributing to Alliance builds. So whenever your Alliance is building anything within the map, you definitely need to actually contribute to that and you will be able to actually, um, uh, like basically, for example, we are building right now over here in this section, you just move in and start building. That You just have all the way, you, all you need to do is just move to this specific area and start contributing to the build and you'll be able to obtain uh, uh, coins as you do that as well. And we can see exactly the coins that are being obtained is through the village. If you go through the village over here and you can see um, who are actually we, we just build that one. So basically you can check that out while you're actively building. The more time that you spend with building through a village, the more alliance coins that you will be able to obtain as well. So that's basically the four main ways that you can actually do that. But however, there are multiple other ways that you can uh, contribute and get those coins uh, through the conquest itself. So if you go to the conquest and then you go to missions over here, basically you will see if you go a little bit down that you can actually get a lot of these coins, not from these missions, but actually from the alliance missions. So the more alliance missions that you will actually do, you will be getting these contribution coins as itemizations within your inventory. So the, the actually, once you finish this, and once you actually get this, you will be able to get these, which are actually a massive amount if you accumulate them over a period of time. And you can see them in the other section right in your inventory over here. When you use them, immediately they will be plugged in to your uh, current uh, contribution coins, and you will be able to actually use them to, in order to make purchases. Now. There are multiple things that I would uh, highly recommend getting from this specific store. The first thing is, of course, War Machine statues and starting off with these ones. These ones are the cheap ones. I would definitely get these if you don't have War Machine maxed out. And if you still don't have it maxed out afterward, I would definitely be able to get these as well. Now, this store, by the way, if your alliance isn't really a high level, you will have these. Uh, you can actually unlock multiple sections in the, within this store 
when you actually uh, research the alliance tech. So the more alliance tech or the higher alliance tech that you have, you'll be able to reach a specific ones and you'll be able to unlock more sections within the store. Um, the other thing that I would highly recommend is the silver material crates. You would need tons of these in order to craft gold plus and gold plus plus um, uh, parts, which will take uh, like tons and tons of materials, which these will help you out a lot in actually collecting them. And the third thing that I would use it on is the VIP points over here. Um, some of the players would go for the migration commands as well over here. That's one of the main ways in order for a free to play player to actually get migration commands without having to spend any money. So if you're looking to get any migration commands and move to another server, this is one of the ways that you can actually do so. Now, when it comes to actual um, uh, gold uh, kind of crates over here, I don't think they have extremely high value. Plus, they're extremely expensive. So I'm not sure exactly if you should focus on these unless you're like kind of dead uh, when it comes to uh, like really gold, finding gold pots and you, you can't find anything. You can actually get some of these from here. However, what I would still recommend putting it on is actually the VIP points. They give you the highest value and you can get uh, like a lot of returns, especially if you actually level up your VIP level. Then you can get also a lot of gold crates from that as well. So I'm currently like VIP 18, almost 19, as you can see. And on a daily basis, I'm already getting two crates. So when I get to like VIP 19, I'll be getting two crates as well. So that's a lot of things. Uh, if I get to VIP 20, I get three gold, uh, gold crates every single day. So getting to uh, like getting your VIP level up is actually very important. And this is why I would focus on this area, specifically if you already have everything else maxed out and you're actually uh, fully relaxed in terms of uh, like having um, materials and having enough uh, like, for example, already maxing out more machine and whatnot. Um, okay, airlift commands are really important as well. If you're missing these, it's like one of the good ways to actually obtain them actually from here. And universal coupons are actually pretty good if you're looking to get more universal coupons on a weekly basis. These are basically the main rewards that I would highly recommend you guys getting in the same order that I've actually mentioned them within this video. But leave me in the comments below if you have any other ways that you can get contribution coins from or you have any other recommendations in terms of the store itself. Thank you so much for watching and we'll definitely see you on the next one. Bye bye.